All right, Hamin, thank you for those updates. The high level talks lasted for more than three days, yet, no details were provided during that time. And an official from South Korea's Unification Ministry offered a glimpse of what was discussed behind closed doors. Hwang Sung-hee reports. Regarding the recent landmine explosion in the demilitarized zone that seriously injured two South Korean soldiers, an official at South Korea's Unification Ministry said Seoul views Pyongyang as having acknowledged its responsibility for the attack. Although a clear apology was not given, the official who attended the high-level talks noted it is the first time North Korea has expressed regret over its provocations in a formal accord. Surprisingly, North Korea made no mention of the ongoing joint military drills between South Korea and the United States, which began earlier this month. Pyongyang views the annual drills as a rehearsal for invasion. Seoul and Washington maintain they're purely defensive in nature. But North Korea did bring up the issue of restarting South Korean tours to its Mount Kumgang resort by attempting to link the matter with the resumption of reunions for war-separated families. The tours were suspended in 2008 after a South Korean tourist was shot dead by a North Korean guard. The official said Seoul cut Pyongyang off short regarding the two issues, saying they must be dealt with separately. The unification ministry official said that he views the latest high-level agreement as a new start for the two Koreas. This as both sides agreed on the need to hold more systematic inter-Korean talks on a regular basis down the road. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.